Tower, Cessna 73473 is ready for departure, 35 uh, southeast. Cessna 73473, Cone Tower, runway 35, Charlie, cleared for takeoff, 131012. Clear for takeoff, 31012, so we 73473. Good morning, guys. Go. All right, 35. So we're going to do a right turnout, so. A little bit of a left crosswind on takeoff. Rotate speed again. 55. 55. And climb out at 80. Climb out at 80. Alright, feet on the floor here. And we'll just take a smooth application of power. Looking good. Pressure, RPM's good. Yeah. Oil temperature pressure and air speed's alive. A little bit more speed there. Okay, gently bring the nose up. That's enough. And we're airborne, just left the planet. Up to 307 Romeo Bravo Cone Tower, taxi off Kilo, clear for takeoff. Wind 30010. Alpha Kilo, clear for takeoff, uh, helicopter 307 Romeo Bravo. Sys 473, when able to make your right turn to the east, traffic will be transitioning south along the shoreline helicopter. Copy that, right turn out, right about here, and we'll go across the highway southeast. Little right Traffic station part of 3-5, turn an eastbound no factor, cross the departure course, runway 3-5, then cross runway 3-5, proceed to the south ramp, additional traffic helicopter departing off Kilo B eastbound. Okay, Roger, yeah, I got the fixed wing in sight, and then my risk over to the ramp, looking for uh, the Robbie shock We're up to 1,500, just head right to the shoreline. Okay. Let's get to the 7 corner tower, runway 3-5, clear to land, wind 31010. All right. Uh, for now, 1,500 would be nice just to stay kind of low along okay. the coast and get a nice view of the beaches and the, sh and the reefs. Well, welcome to the Kona skies. Beautiful. A little overcasty, but still, nevertheless, pretty pretty nice day today. Yeah. All right, there's your cruise altitude for now. Just ease the power back to about 21 inches. On a full pressure, right there. And then I'll bring the prop back to 22, 23. Get the prop noise change there a little bit. Uh, okay. Central 35, we got a lot of good things. 118, Cone Tower, number 2, number 2, 5, quit left, we're One one two nine code ground, one oh three five tax off. So we're coming over the boat harbor on the right here, our fishing fleet. And on the uh, ahead on the left is downtown Kailua Kona, as you're familiar with that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right? okay. The old Coney Airport runway on the right, which makes a nice little beach park there now. Oh, yeah. So, you 
you can park out there. That's a public uh, public public beach park. There's a jogging track there. A nice little garden area there on the this side of the runway. Athletic fields. They just had a big circus there last Saturday. Oh, okay. yeah. Nice little carnival. Beach. Yeah. yeah. It used to be the whole main airport for the whole Kona Coast back until the 70s. Wow. So you're looking at downtown Kona there, the ancient capital of Hawaii. When uh, King Kamehameha conquered all the islands in the early 1800s, he settled down here. The King Kamehameha Hotel is the present location of the old te temple site. No skydiving today, sorry. All right, so, great little place. You said you're staying down here at the... the Magic, Magic Sands was staying at, yeah. We're right up ahead here. Yeah. I'm a little offshore, you'll get a better angular view of it there, probably. My nephew lives like a mile from where we're staying, up further. Really? Yep. So you had a chance to get downtown to the shops? And no, not but, yet. Not yet? Oh yeah, it's pretty neat down there in downtown Kona. It's a nice little restaurant row and little area there for shops and stuff. Little neat little beaches. So is that us right there? Well, let's get 57 turn right at Golf Taxiway. Probably, yeah. Magic Sands. Oh, we're up here, I think. Magic Sands is up ahead here. Yeah. yeah. We're at 10 o'clock, honey. If that means anything. Third south. Oh, okay. 473. 473, Roger. Up to you on the other side. 473, Roger. Hello. Wind 3208. Yeah, that's uh, Magic Sands. Yeah, right up in here. You see it, honey? Yep. Usually a bunch of kids on boogie boards. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty wild. A nice snorkel park is just the next one south of us here. It's called Kahalu Beach. Yeah, park. that's what we heard. That's a really good place to get in the water and pedal around. Oh, kind of a protected yeah. area there. Very shallow lagoon. You can see the turtles and fish up close in here. And they even have uh, like a nice little park area there where you can take showers and rent gear and stuff. Oh, we brought our snorkel gear. Good. Well, that's a good initial place to go, right? Right south yeah. of where you're at. This is where Dave and Chino live. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, this, com this complex here where the tennis courts are. Yeah, that's the Kona Coast Resort. Big Island traffic, helicopter 307, well. Yep. Just uh, east of Fort Stevens, 2,100 feet. Headed to the red line. Yeah, we watched the uh, sunset from that, nice. that beach. Uh, beautiful. Very cool. Beautiful. Last night. 1,500 feet, 8 miles. To the northwest of Bay Bay and around for Brandon, That's uh, uh, Keaho Bay, where the boats leave out of to go to Captain Cook every day. The Captain Cook Monument's right around the corner. is a great place, a nice little tour boat thing. Oh, okay. Like I was saying on the briefing, you can see how shallow the, the mountain is, how flat. Yeah. Mauna Loa just has a really gradual rise, three degree, like an ILS and it continues on under the water for another 20,000 feet down below the ocean floor. A monster mountain. That's Mount Aloha in the background. What we're looking at here under our left wing is Hualalai Volcano, which is last erupted over 200 years ago, and that's an 8,000 foot peak. You wouldn't, th back behind the wing, you wouldn't think that's 8,000 feet, but it's up there. Yeah, well, it's in the clouds. Looks like they're getting ready to build some uh yeah, development here. <laughs> that was originally going to be another mega resort, but it just kind of terminated into a country club golf course. Oh. So they never finished it up. And yeah, look at these little inlets here. Those are lava tubes, old ancient lava caves that go back from when uh, Walla Lai erupted 200 years ago. Oh, the, cool. The caves down there. The boats come in and out of here, too, sometimes. Wow. Oh. Snorkel boats come in and out. And just up ahead is Kiawake, Kua Bay. This is, we call it Captain Cook's Bay. If you do a little history research, you'll find that the first, first Western influence to the Hawaiian Islands was in 1779 with Captain James Cook sailing into this harbor here after he had explored all over the Pacific in his third voyage. 
He basically landed here, was greeted like a high chief, and a week later he wore out his welcome and they wound up getting into a skirmish and getting killed here. Oh, wow. Well. So, Oops. Captain Cook violated the number one rule of visiting Hawaii. He'd never argue with the locals. <laughs> anyway, you'll see the monument to Captain Cook that the Royal Navy erected here around the corner. It's a very popular dive spot, snorkel spot. All these boats are heading out there this morning. Right in the corner up here. So if you're into a little adventurous drive, you can go down Highway 11 and come down here and park down there and either swim or snorkel or even uh, paddleboard or kayak across to the monument. Wow. About a month, about three weeks ago, a lady was snorkeling right there and she got bitten by a tiger shark. So Okay, well, we'll, we'll check that out. <laughs> we'll, we'll, if you're going to go there, go by boat. <laughs> we'll check that off of the list. Uh, they're everywhere around, but if you go to Kahalu Beach and some inlet beaches protected, you're not going to have any shark problems. Yeah, we're going to skip the sharks. I'd recommend that. Well, what's another nice protected lagoon that I highly recommend you check out is the City of Refuge here. You're not going to see sharks in here either. It's a protected bay. But right up ahead with that road curves is the refuge. And that's like an ancient Hawaiian uh, refuge camp where they would people would go to get out of trouble there and be protected. And it's a, probably one of the best snorkel locations in the state of Hawaii. I so is this, this all the Route 11 here? No, that's just a little access okay. road that goes to the, the refuge. Okay. Main Highway 11's up in the trees there. Oh, okay. By the macadamia nut coffee farms up there. You like Makona coffee and macadamia nuts, this is where it all comes from, right around the, right around the clouds here. There's a, a little town of Honau now. We're looking out under the clouds there. There's a painted church an old Catholic church here that the missionaries painted frescoes on the ceiling so they could teach the local Hawaiians about the biblical scenery and stories and they actually taught the Hawaiians how to read. They're the most literate uh, nation on the whole planet by per capita back in the 200 years ago. And here's the city of refuge. On the other uh, south side of the bay there you'll see a, a square and then an L-shaped lava rock wall that's eight foot high. That's where the refuge camp was in there. It's basically like a sacred spot where you could go to get absolution for your violation of any of the taboos, the, hundred, the millions of taboos they had. And on the rocks there, they call it two-step. If you look in the tourist magazines, you'll see uh, the famous beaches. That's the two-step beach where the rocks are. You just take two steps right into the coral reef. That entire lagoon there is all choked with fish and turtles. It's beautiful there. Wow, my favorite spot to go in the water. Snorkeling? Snorkeling and diving. Yeah. Yeah. This, as you notice on the big island here, there's hardly any beaches. The beaches we do have are like precious beaches, little beaches. We like them and go to them and check them out. Yeah. You want to go if you want some more beaches that are crowded. You go to Oahu or Kauai or Maui, but we're more like the outback here. Once you leave the big towns around here, it's all remote. A beautiful morning. It's nice and clear. So what you're looking at here, these big black streaks coming down into the water here, these are the 1950 lava flows. Only 70 years ago we had Mauna Loa erupted on the Kona coast, not too long ago. And you can see that the lower slopes, there's no trees growing on the lava rock, but you go up to the upper slopes, the forest has already taken over most of the lava there because of the rain and the creates crops and soil and, and plants that kind of overtake the old lava flow. Wow. It doesn't take long for a forest to grow on top of a lava flow if it's watered properly and stuff. It's Highway 11 up in the upper wow. level there going around the island, the Belt Road. Nice and smooth air behind the volcano. That's because the mountain blocks the wind. The wind is wrapping around, around the island going east to west, so it's always calm and cool back behind the volcanoes. Once you get on the around the corner, you get a little bit of bumps, okay. but then we're on the windward side, it smoothens out again. There's a really black sandy beach That's there. a very black sandy beach. That's oh. a Paradise Park here. Or uh, <laughs> Is that public? Yeah, it's, the idea here is everybody has an ocean view above the other guy's roof. See? Yeah. Actually, that's... Uh, yeah. All open, it's all public land here. See some of the coffee farms up in the slopes there, the bunches of trees.
Well, they're the remote house. You'll see little shacks and beach houses here oh. and there. Can we live there? Big lava flow, honey. I know. Uh, whatever. Yeah, these are part of the 1950 flows I was telling you about. the little fault lines in the middle of the lava flows there where the two lava tubes split open from earthquake activity and just fissures spreading apart as they got filled up with successive lava flows breaking up the old lava tubes. Uh -huh. And you'll, you'll notice too if you go to uh, Volcanoes National Park they got a headquarters there and a visitor center. Really nice. They, tell, they teach you all about how the volcano is formed and you get to get some beautiful views like we're going to see today. And you'll learn about the two types of lava. You'll see from the air, you got the, it's kind of like peanut butter. You got chunky and smooth peanut butter. You have chunky and smooth lava. The chunky lava is, they call it uh -uh lava, and that cools a lot faster, and it kind of bubbles up and makes clinker lava, like really sharp rocks. But you don't want to walk on that, because that'll slice your shoes off. And then you have the other kind of lava, the smooth lava. It looks like taffy stretched out over the ground. That's pahoyhoy lava. And that cools a lot slower, it stretches out, kind of slowly pours into the ocean. Depends on how quickly the lava cools, it gives it its consistency. Little, little couple little villages here and there, farming communities spread out, mostly centered around the coffee farms and the macadamia nut farm. There's a big macadamia nut farm right up here too. Originally those the farms were brought over here by an Australian farmer named Henry MacAdams, thus the name Macadamia. Well, yeah. there's a low maintenance yard, honey. Yeah. Well, rock gardens everywhere here, yeah. What we could do is take a little bit of a shortcut. Once we okay. pass this next way, we can kind of slice across there. We'll go on shore here for a little bit. Yeah, we don't have the prop control on our 172M. The 182 should have it, or the Cirrus yeah. should have it. The Cirrus is automatic. Oh, it doesn't right. have it in there either. Fadec, yeah. I mean, yeah. it does adjust, but it's automatic. Got a FADEC in there, I think. Fully automatic digital engine control. Maybe just a little more to the left. There you sure. go. So that big square farm over there on the left at 10 o'clock is the Mac Farms of Hawaii. That's the largest macadamia nut farm we have on the island there. Wow. Put those nuts in everything from ice cream to fish and salads, candies. Chocolate. <laughs> Chocolate macadamia <laughs> nuts. Can't beat them. Addicting. Off in the distance there, you can see South Point sticking out there a little bit. That's where we're heading, the southernmost tip of the island. Okay. So as we get closer to South Point, you'll see the wind will start picking up, wrapping around the island. because We're getting near the end of the volcano, so it lets the wind wrap around. So we'll get a little bumpy air under those clouds there for a little while until we wrap, get on the windward side where it smoothens out again. Think of the islands like rocks in a stream, you know, the wind just wraps around them. Yeah. Like yeah. water wraps around a rock in a, in a, in a stream bed. So, South Point, come to the left a little bit. We're going to try to shave across the island a little. Maybe let's go up to 2005, so okay. keep the nose trimmed up a bit. Just going to be going in a giant curve around the island. 
So these trees here, they all kind of look dead, but they're not. They're called ohia trees and have like a grayish looking leaf and then this occasionally they'll bloom with a red flower called a lahua flower. A little bit more of a shortcut, keep climbing a little bit gently and gradually. Alright, so that's Ocean View Estates down below, big big chunks of land wide open there. Kind of like people living in the outback here. Yeah. All right, we're 2,500, is that where we want to be? Uh, uh, yeah, let's climb up a little bit more, just gradually. Give it a little more punch here. As you go, every thousand feet you go up, you got to add an inch of manifold pressure, because the power drops off in the engine, right? Just yeah. like your altimeter, it measures right. atmospheric pressure in the engine. It takes... So here, down below, from left to right, you can see these massive lava flows coming out of the side of Mount Aloha here from about 100 years ago. Oh, wow! And you can really get an idea of the liquid nature of the rock, how it looks like a river poured out here, but of solid rock. And off to your right is the south point of the island, the southernmost tip, Calais Point. So the most tip of the United States, actually, we're much further south than Florida, Key West. Oh, we are. If you draw a line from South Point due east, you'll come to Mexico City. Uh, we're 19 degrees north of the equator here. That's why it's so mellow here all year long. Well, this is kind of a cool sight, seeing all of those old lava flows coming down here. Yeah. Really wow. see how graphic they are. So right underneath us, from left to right, you see this cliff, this, this ridge goes from, from the highway to South Point is 10 miles. Yeah. And you can see the rest of the island is a little bit higher than this part here. So you know there was a gargantuan landslide that just dropped the whole side of the island down here, created from an earthquake. So they figured it generated a tsunami, a huge tsunami that blew past the Pacific Ocean. Now, the volcanoes every once in a while break loose and they kind of collapse and they chunk out big pieces of island into the ocean that creates tsunamis. That's what they were worried about with the volcano when it went off last year, that it would create a tsunami, but it never did. It just created a lot of lava, melted a lot of houses, and that's about it. Little craters are kind of cool that we're flying over here, little sinkholes. Yeah, that's really neat. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. If you look on the right, you'll see Highway 11 continuing around South Point all the way up through the Mech Farms here. And the town of Pahala. It's a big farm there as well. Since the uh, volcano is very gradual rise, it's very deceptive because it kind of looks flat out here. Yeah. But it is rising terrain the whole time. So we're actually even right ahead here. We're flying into rising terrain. Eventually, yeah, we'll hit yeah. the, we'll hit the top of that that hill there if we didn't climb higher than the, that. So when you have lowering clouds and rising terrain, it creates an illusion like you can go under the clouds and make it. But if there's downdrafts there and then you get the terrain kind of looking weird, it can create a lot of hazard. So you see the road here that's underneath us, how it yep. wiggles up there. That's basically is going to go right into Kilauea Crater. So just keep this present heading and we should be fine. We'll probably be right underneath the clouds looking at the crater there. Have a GPS antenna northbound. At this point, you may want to let me take over so you can get good pictures and look around a bit. Sure. So I'll take the controls. You have the controls. I have the controls. Gotta sneak in here a little bit. Well, I'm sure to live for the tip 3200. Holy crow, that's crazy. Yeah, isn't it? You can see where the road just kind of went right off the deep end there. No, 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 no,
Uh, it's just about a year ago to this month. Really? Yeah. Wow. Pretty amazing, huh? No more road. They would put a sign up there saying dead end. <laughs> That's like right out of Indiana Jones. Yeah. So that whole caldera just collapsed. It got plugged up like a cork and then the cork popped and then it just drained it right out. How deep is that? 1,500 feet. The elevation used to be right over here where these cliffs are here, but then yeah. from there all the way down is where it collapsed. Wow. And they say there's a little green lake in the middle of it. There you can see it. Kind of where uh, this underground water that's been forced up by the steam and, and the lavas that's eventually going to push back out again. I think we can make it around as long as we head straight to Hilo from here. I can see Hilo there. Just 27 inside of Earth, set the cameras and uh, four Mongo Bullion. Let's make another turn here, just kind of kind of half turn it. Okay. That's incredible. Space coming up the middle way, be going left turn. Any, I don't really see people hiking here. There is no, well, nobody's allowed down here. Okay. So you would be able to get, see that building over to the left there, yep. just in front of the wing, that's the visitor center there. Okay. That's as close as you can get to it. So from the air, you get to see the whole mess, the whole shoot match. This is KMC over right in front of us here, Kilo Kilauea Military Camp. That's kind of an R&R &R place for all the soldiers to go to hang out. You can actually open up the window if you really wanted to, but I think your cameras are getting good shots of it too. Huh? You yeah. can smell a little bit of, see the steam coming off the ground there? Yep. That's all rainwater getting percolated back up, mixing with all the sulfur gases that are escaping from the deep inside the wow. uh, caldera. You even see some birds in there. The, the the white-tailed tropic birds live in here. That's why I named my company after the tropic bird. Beautiful little white. Oh yeah, this is the water. You see the little green lake yeah. in there? That's you could look that up. That's popular. That's not rainwater. That's underground water that's being forced up. Yeah, that thing is building. It's three times as big as it was the last time I was out here. The lighthouse at 2000. Put in like that's where. That's why they think this thing is going to erupt again in another year or two or three. Stage is explode. Green light blue on. Oh yeah, look at the road. This terminates right yeah. there. I see no. Do you think they have a roadblock sign up or something? Well, they do. I don't think they allow you past a certain point up here. Oh, okay. Well, there's a bunch of fishers and stuff, too, so I don't yeah. think you would make it to the end. You're right, you're right. Yeah, the Green Lake has gotten greener. I don't get a chance to get out here that often with the nice weather like this. Always a pleasure to take visitors up. All right, next stop is Hilo. Got a course laid in there already, so. All right. Honolulu at 3.8, climbing for Halemaumau. Uh, Cessna's leaving the Kilauea Crater for Hilo 5-5. Five five. 